Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga, and this is the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. Today, we're talking about education and connection. On to our next question. If you were to choose between education and connection, what would you choose? Let me know in the comment section and tell us where you are commenting from. For me, I'll choose connection because we keep our connection. Like when uh, poor connection, when there's a part of job, in a kulipa poor, in a sustain compared to say, I go in the universities, na na soma like for eight years, and then I end up at your jobless. Yes, so connection is it's better for me. To me, I always speak education when compared to connection, because you must be educated for you to be connected in most cases. There's no way someone can connect you into a job that you are not, that you don't have skills on. But uh, I'll prefer education. Education can connect you itself. It's not a must you have connection so that you can get a job. But through education, at least you are sure, 49% you can get a job. Depending on connection only, I can say maybe 10% you are sure that you'll get a job. I can go for connections. Because a lot of people are educated, but they are not employed. Yes. They are not employed. Connections can expose you to a world of, you can get, uh, you can be paid, you know. Yeah, you can get paid when someone maybe tells you, do this for me, then I will, it's just something to do with deals. I love knowledge, to begin with. That's uh personal bias, I just love knowledge, I love absorbing information, whether it's random, whether it's, whether it's factual, you know, just love being there. Then um, for me life is um, a sort of fantasy MMORPG, you know, um, uh, I, I just love being um, part of, you know, uh, how do I put it, gears, you know, the gears that shift, you know, the cogs that shift the gears, you know, just being a contributing member of society, you know, um, in my own way, in my own respect, you know. Um, take me back to the days, you know, really the ancient Greece and everyone, you know, when civilization was at its peak, you know. You just had to be educated, you know, and knowledgeable. And those are the people who made this world what it is, not the people who are connected, to be honest. Um, connections. <laughs> uh, because with connections, I mean, you, that you can just get anything you want, really. Because, I mean, if you have education, you can, but it's a, it's a harder way. With connections, you're already connected to so many people. You can enter into so many things. Yeah. So I'd choose connections. <laughs> so if you choose Zote, do you either way, it's complementary. Yeah. Because about you can't go to for connections and you have nothing to offer. And Tachagua, education, Kisa Namana, Unajua. Unajua watu wengi ambao wanashindwa kuwa na ufanisi kwa maisha ya kwamba wanaenda kwa education wakienda waki kutafuta kazi lakini ukiwa na skills na knowledge yako you can be creative you can be innovative you can create employment because ano as opposed dunia sasa unapata mtu ameenda kwa elimu akifocus kwa kwamba amalize asome aenda aanze kufanya kazi ya kutafuta kazi lakini ukiwa una pursue education ukijua kwamba utakuwa umeji Ume, ume acquire knowledge na hiyo knowledge kusaidia ku create job na kufanya vitu mingi ambazo zitakuwa na ufanisi kama uh, job, job creation naona you create your own job na pia unaweza employ watu kwa hivyo uh, mimi nitachagua education because through education uh, watu ambao ninge wange, watu watakuwa na nitafuta because i have skills and knowledge yenye hawana because i'm an honest man myself and I believe in education. I'd not go for connections. If I, were, if I went for connections, uh, maybe after the last election, pro probably I'd not be walking in the streets now. But I decided to stand for the truth. And anybody who will watch this and know, they know me. I stood for the truth. And that is why some people uh, decided not to listen to me, which is OK. We are going to vote you out. Trust me, the same skills we used to organize for you, we are going to put them into action again. And any leader who has lied to Kenyans, 
we will throw you out. Trust me on this one. Connection, I was your work on a basic education. So I'll go with education than connection. I'd rather choose uh, education. Because if you are connected, maybe you are connected to do a certain big job, but you cannot perform. You cannot perform. So, the, I mean, education, you will even reason. Atakama Huna. No, no. You'll reason on how to behave, moral values, on how to do your things, on how to organize. You can even create entrepreneurial skills, okay? And start by your own. Nowadays, we, have, we are in a media technology. You can sell your things online. And if you do it perfect, you'll get through connection through your education. But if you are connected and don't have education, you can even be told to address very many people. And you don't know, but you are connected to be there. So education, I still prefer. Education is still very powerful. Education and connection. At some point, you may get connection, but that connection without education, uh, but it's good to have basic, then combine with a good connection. Personally, I feel like they're both very important, but one thing you have to keep in mind is that if you have education, you do not necessarily need connections, but if you have connections, you definitely do need education to back it up. Let's say, for example, you do have connections to get a certain job, but then you go there, you don't have the skills, you don't know the basics, you're definitely going to lose your job. And some professions specifically need you to go to school to get the kind of information needed. Professions like doctors, lecturers, ETC. Which takes us to our last question. Do you think education is only for the young? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, for me, I don't think. Uh, but some point, uh, it depends. Age limit, you can study, you can, you can study until you're old. But uh, based on understanding some point, that's a fact. So, when you study something, you analyze, you have energy to, to put into and read. But I don't think that it has an age limit. So it's only that the, the energy slow down as the, the age comes. Education is Like, we, we, we get new things daily. Yeah, so at least I'm to a certain age. Education is required to equal. To a certain level. To a certain level. Because when you are born, you must start with certain things. When you reach at a there is time for everything. Mm, there is time for everything. Yeah, that's what I can say. We are constantly growing, constantly evolving. Um, yeah, I think formal education, you can make an argument for it. Because uh, I don't think uh, the environment would be conducive of having kids and uh, really old people in the same learning environment. It's really not good because they're different faces, yeah. Um, in my own lectures, you know, um, in my own classes, uh, uh, architecture, um, I, I, I'm constantly challenged by the older students, you know, the people who start doing their course in their 40s and the likes, and I'm just half their age. You know, I mean, there's, there's, there's value they bring to the table, true, but then again, um, it just feels, just feels uncomfortable at times. So I guess there's an argument that the formal education, our system, yeah, it's so good to mix the old with the new. But then even the old people, you really never stop learning things, you know. I mean, you can't teach an older dog new tricks. It's just trying. There is no age limit. Whatever age education is, uh, education is for everybody. Yeah, there's no age limit. Education is for the youngs. I think what was there, like, when I said, like, you know, I appear source of income and stuff. Yeah. I don't think Nafar can have limits. Like you get, Kuna say anybody they are still studying and they are old. Kuna some people are 50 and above, they are still learning, they are still in education. Because Utapata, like with education, so let me use Walimu for example. Kwa Walimu, the more you study, the more you are payroll and the more you are to ranks. So, this is a limit. It's a continuous thing. Education has got no age limit. A uh, good example, I have a classmate who is uh, at the age of my mother. We are studying the same course. Education has no limit. Uh, education is here at young people because we have a challenge that we have to do. We have to do a lot of work. We have to do a lot of work. We have to do a lot of work. We have to do a na nikapata kwamba kama graduation ama, ama higher higher education kwa mfano kama university 
I sponsored myself wakati mimi mwenyewe nimeshagro unaona kwa hivyo uh, education si ya watu wachanga cause ile privilege yenye mtu ambaye kwa yanga alipata si ile mwingine alipata unaweza pata mtu hakuwa na finance but katika maisha yake akakuwa na ufanisi ambaye anaweza jisponsor kwa education I don't think there is an age limit for someone to learn because we've seen older people going to school and those who are in school they are learning with people who are older than them so there's no limit in terms of age for someone to be educated as long as you are ready to sit in class or you are ready to gain knowledge on something you are free to gain education from it I do not think education is only for the young. I am sure most of us have seen older people go back to school and it is a good thing because I feel like that way they are able to keep up with the trend and upcoming technologies. Also, education is about learning and you never stop learning. As long as you're learning something new every day, it is beneficial and you can never stop learning because we have new things coming up every single day. We have come to the end of this show. I am your host SK Gitonga. Thank you for watching. Um I'll say hi to the crew behind me. Hi Brenda, Ian, Jafet and Leon. My family back at home, my friends. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.